many spiritual cultures, there is the concept of the higher self, omnipotent and divine. This version of the self is free from ego and karma of the physical existence. It is all knowing and guides us humans through conscious life from birth to death. Connecting with your higher self could be a profound spiritual experience and incredibly healing. It can also vastly improve your inner guidance, your trust with the universe, and help you develop a deeper sense of purpose. Everyone is different when finding their relationship with their higher self. For some, it's very easy. For others, it takes a long time to develop that trust and to be able to hear that wisdom. I have known some people who feel like their relationship with their higher self is their main spiritual connection. And I have known others who feel like their relationship with their higher self is very minimal in their life. And whatever your relationship is with your higher self, it's going to be okay because that is very specific to you and you should trust what you get. So if you want to improve your relationship with your higher self, here are some crystals I recommend. Now I wanna say many, many crystals help with the relationship with the higher self. It's one of the prominent energetic properties of lots of crystals. However, I've picked out a few today that I feel have an extremely strong vibration that if you're struggling or just starting out connecting with your higher self, these crystals should make it as simple as possible. I think aquamarine is a fantastic place to start. It opens the pathway to the higher self and strengthens the connection. You could also try other barrels such as morganite and heliodor, but for some reason I feel like aquamarine has always been the strongest, at least in my experience. I mean, you have to go with the staple of quartz. Now, any quartz will do. This is a lovely pink quartz, but any sort of clear quartz or quartz with inclusion could really help you connect, make you feel grounded and connected and present with your higher self. Draw that energy from a higher dimension down into the physical. Now, if you're gonna use a quartz with inclusion, I highly recommend using a quartz with a tourmaline. Now, any tourmaline would really work, but a pink or a multicolored or green tourmaline I think is particularly lovely. It really opens up the communication channel and helps you draw that divine loving wisdom down into the physical. I think celestite is the stone of the omnipresent. Just the total awareness working with this mineral can bring. I think that you could really use it to help channel your higher self and your higher guidance and really feel connected to something bigger. Selenite is almost obvious. I mean, it's just such a high vibration and it raises and clears everything around it that you could literally use it to have a full on conversation with your higher self. Kyanite helps raise your vibration up to your higher self. Ruby helps expand your energy field and it will expand you out towards your higher self. And Ruby and Kyanite together will both raise your vibration and expand you, connecting you very deeply with your higher self. Laramar is quintessentially the stone of the higher self. I mean, if you had to embody your higher self in a mineral, this might be it. Turquoise is like a giant antenna to higher vibrations, including your higher self. You just have to tell it what you want to connect with. Moonstone will take you on a mystical journey to meet your higher self. And Apothalite is literally the equivalent of calling your higher self on the phone if you use it in meditation. Thank you.